Hey everyone, today we'll be going through the outfit picker template and this was a lot of fun creating. Um, quick way on how it works, you just tap on each selection and it randomizes a specific, I guess, piece. So let's get into it. Now the outfit picker template or I guess outfit randomizer has been made popular by Juliet Siegel on TikTok. She creates like a bunch of these, they're really cool, they're really fun. Um, I waited until I saw like you know, a good amount of variance from other creators just so, you know, gives the original idea some time to shine. But um, a lot of people have reached out on a template just so they could understand how to do something similar. So um, in the, I guess, the visual scripting area, um, the main thing you can change right now is the spin time. And that's how long it takes for uh, each one to cycle. So I just set it to one second. So when we click it, one one. Now if we set it to five, it spin it cycles for five seconds. So I think like a sweet spot is two or three. It depends what you're feeling. But if you want to make changes to it, it's very simple. So the first thing you'll do is add asset, import, and texture sequence. So I had these shoes ready. And it's going to import as texture sequence. So uh, let's rename this uh, new shoes. And we're going to go over to the animated texture section. And here it says replace me. You click on that. And we'll just replace the textures with new shoes. Now when I tap on shoes, the new shoes I just set up get imported. And you don't need to change anything else. It will cycle through them no matter how many you input. It could be four. It could be 100. It will cycle through it and choose one randomly. Now, if you want to change the cover image, like uh, here where I have tops, you could just come here and um, you could import one or you could just select another one. Here it says handbag twice, so let's just set that back to top, tops. And yeah, it's a fairly simple way to edit it. If you go inside the, I guess, the subgroup, you can see what I did. So once you tap the image, the screen image, once you tap tops, let's uh, stop this for a second. Once you tap on tops, it's it basically just um, not, you know, not making it too complicated for a bit. It basically just uh, cycles the animation and then after two seconds, it just pauses it. That's basically all it is. And um, if you want to make more images, say you want to add um, nails, uh, you could just uh, copy and paste this, create another one, and just follow the idea that you kind of see placed around the effect, and you'll be able to duplicate it. But if there are any questions, you know, feel free to reach out in the comments or to me on um, Instagram or Discord. Now, this will be posted on my website and also in the official Effect House Discord both of which will be linked in the description below. But this was a very fun effect to make, so I'm glad that I could get this out. I'm putting a few out that I've had in the talk for a while, so until next time.